Arrest made, second suspect sought in SH00TING of Uber driver. Kim Troy Williams, 51, is shown with his daughter, Sophia, and his mother, Janie, in this undated photo. Kim Troy Williams, 51, was shot twice in the abdomen at about 8.20 a.m. Thursday, after, the suspects took everything Williams had, including his wallet, cell phone, and laptop, as they fled in Williams' 2015 Mitsubishi Outlander. Late Friday, Jesus Luna, 18, was taken into custody in connection with the shooting, SAPD spokeswoman Jennifer Rodriguez said. Luna faces a charge. SWAT and robbery detectives arrested Luna without incident Friday on the southwest side. Williams SUV, Jesus Luna, 18, was taken into custody Friday night in connection with the shooting of Kim Troy Williams, San Antonio Police spokeswoman Jennifer Rodriguez said. Luna faces a ch We are working to identify a second suspect in the incident, said Rodriguez, who asked that anyone with information on the suspect contact police. Luna denied taking part in the incident as he was led away in handcuffs Friday night to a vehicle outside the police station at 555 Academic Court. Asked if he had any regrets about ending up in handcuffs, Luna said yes, everything, but declined to elaborate. Police did not reveal Luna's role in Williams' shooting. After he was shot, Williams made his way to a nearby muffler shop for help. Paramedics picked Amy Kessler Williams said that after her brother-in-law was shot, he remained conscious long enough to get to the hospital. Williams gave police a description of one of the suspects who attacked him in an emergency contact before going into a coma, his sister-in-law said. As of Friday, Williams remained in a medically induced coma after enduring four surgeries. Doctors removed parts of his internal organs that were damaged by the bullets, including his gallbladder, liver, a piece of his stomach and a portion of his lung, his sister-in-law said. She said his abdomen is open and could stay that way through Sunday until doctors can finish reconstructive surgery. It's still a long road to recovery. He's still going, Williams, who works at a TJ. Max Distribution, he's such a sweet guy, Amy Williams said. He never had a bat, she said Kim Williams, at 6 feet, 3 inches tall with a heavy set build, was never afraid to pick up people at certain parts of town. The two people he picked up Thursday, who used a gift card to pay for the Uber, were strangers to him and his family, she said. As Kim Williams continues his recovery, his family you including his wife and eight-year-old daughter you has made sure to have at least one person by his side at all times. It's a tough situation, we're dealing as best as we can, his sister-in-law said. Every boat a spinner, a set up by family to help cover his medical expenses, raised more than $4,000 as of Friday night.